welcome to Resident Evil 2 the board game campaign playthrough. Before I get started, I just want to warn you, this game contains scenes, explicit violence and gore. Welcome to Resident Evil 2 the board game. I'm going to be playing through the scenarios of the campaign mode. So I'm scenario 2. Now why scenario 2 is because scenario 1 is a tutorial mission. So we're going to start here. Now using the guide, I'll show you the map, the objective, starting cards, the item decks, detection decks, and the encounter decks tables. As a playthrough, I'll briefly explain some of the rules and we'll learn as we go along. Now, the objective of this first mission, as you read here, is you must find the stars key, make way to the stars office on the second floor. If you look at the map, the second floor stars office is right there. And this is my first floor. Stairs connecting. And this goes to the second floor. Start office will be right here. So I get into here and have one. Resident Evil, the board game, is kind of similar to the uh, video game itself. Um, you're going to be, it is just survival horror. You're going to be trying to find items, dodging enemies. Learning how to fight or flee is a vital skill in this because if you look at player cards, you have a lot of health. You have five hits before you're taken out. Um, I'm just going to play through the game and I'm going to learn how it works. So, this is, uh, you can play two players with this. Uh, I think actually you can play up to four players with this if you wanted to. Um, some missions, if you look at the symbol there, it will tell you that says uh, one. Some say two, so you need two players for some missions. Um, I'll go for what's on the board. So we have my health dial here. This is my character card, as you see here. This top symbol here is the amount of dice you roll for a dodge. So when you dodge, you roll two dice. The more that, the better. The eight in the backpack symbol is an inventory symbol. That's how many items I can carry at one point. If I exceed eight of a new item, I have to discard one on the spot. Um, down here, weapons cards can use. As you can see here, Leon can use the pistol, the shotgun, and the magnum. Now, you can pick up other items or weapons that you can't use, but you will have to discard them at some point because you can't actually use them. You can give them to other players, you can trade, you can leave them in an item box. It's up to you. Also, each character has a certain ability. As you see here, Leon has Claw Under Fire. Once per activation, you may use an item, mono enemies in a square about making an evade ball. This means that when an enemy is on the same tile as you, such as the same square there, unless you do a f uh, shoot or evade move, you're going to have to uh, take an attack. So this basically lets you use an item, such as a, a herb or a loaded weapon, without making an evade roll or shooting your way out. Next up, we have my inventory here. I've got a knife, I've got a handgun, with my handgun dial here set to 50, you can see it there, and first aid sprays, so it's like a, you play Resident Evil games, you know what first aid sprays are, they'll heal you. I'll explain how the attack works uh, when we get to it, uh, I've also got the item deck A, item deck B. I can see on the, the board there, there's little orange and white squares, sorry, square tiles, tokens should I say. These are items. You walk over one, pick it up, and the top card of this corresponds to the item token. As you see here, the orange ones say, you can read it out, B, and the white ones say A. So when you walk over that, you'll pick it up, and you'll pick up the top card of the item deck, and it's a bit of a look at what you're going to get. Now, the guide does tell you, you see here, what items to put in the deck. So item deck A has bullets, the herb, and the spade key. Item deck B has a bow gun, which I've changed for a shotgun because I'm playing solo and I don't need the bow gun. Um, the red herb and the stars key. Now I need, need the stars key to get into the stars office. So we're going to be looking for the B deck symbols and hopefully we'll get the stars key. This deck down here is the tension deck. At the end of uh, the player's and the enemy's turn, there's, a ten there's the uh, tension deck phase where you talk about this deck over it and there'll be an effect such as um, spawn zombies, um, passing a vein roll, and other little uh, things to hinder your progress. Up here we have the enemy cards. 
We're going to use these as a reference when they're attacking, when we're attacking them. But we'll get to that when we get there. These are the dice we use for attacking and evading. This is the encounter dice, which we'll go through when we get to it. Um, we have doors, walls, we have the key underneath, which corresponds to the current key we need to open the doors to get into that room. Uh, also, the enemies, the zombies, there's liquors, stairs. Not too many enemies so far because it's the first mission. And so, let's start. Now, this is the character's action phase. You have four points to use for your action phase. Um, you can move, moving, opening a door, search for an item, use an item, shooting an enemy, reloading, or trading. I'm not going to be just doing trading. So you can do as much as you want. You can attack four times, you can move two spaces and attack twice. You can move, open a door, move, open a door. You have four points, as much as you like. So we're going to start off with Leon and we're going to move. That's one action point. To open a door, cost second one. To open a door, all you do is you take the door, door token and you flip it over. As you can see, there the door is now opened. I want to point out the game is quite dark. Um, I'm playing here in full daylight here, the sun shining through so you can see but you see here some of the tiles, like the, the door tiles are quite hard to see and the locations are quite, you know, I, I don't know if it's to get a feel for the game, you know, the, the dark corridors of the uh, Raccoon City the police department. So we've done one, two, now we do it's the third point. Now what we do is enter, when we enter a new room, always best checking your booklet. If you see here on the first floor, I am here. I've gone to here. Now this is a yellow table. There's yellow, amber, and there's also red. Green is fine. Green, you can't like normal. But if there's any colour other than green, you go onto the encounter table and you roll a dice. So you see here, this is the encounter tech dice table. So I take the black encounter dice and we roll it. I've got a four. Now I use that number. Go to the table to see what effect you'll get. See here, Thor, action talents. The active character must pass an evade roll, or the action phase ends immediately. So what this means is, an evade roll, you see on the dice, we have hit, hit points and evade points. Now if I get this, this, or this, I passed. So we roll that, it didn't, and my turn's over. And that's the end of the action phase. Now what we have next is the reaction phase. Any monsters, zombies, liquors, anything that are in nearby, connected by open doors, will all move one step closer towards the active character. Now, the door there's locked, so nothing happens in this next area. So we're safe for now. That's past the tension phase. Now it's the encounter the sorry the uh, it's the encounter phase side, then it's the tension phase, is top part of this deck. Flip it over. No, red, red's bad, green's good, yellow's tricky, red is bad. So we see here blood curdling howl, chilling howls cut through the air as undead hounds bound in pursuits, feral animals driven by rabbit frosty. Spawn two zombie dogs in the same tile that two character on the closest symbol. So look here, you see the symbols. So that's a really, really bad start. So we take two of the dog tokens. Now the active closest symbol, we don't count the one we're on currently, there, so they're going to go straight down here. As you can see there, it's one of the dogs. Now we've got a problem. Straight away, we have an issue. The problem with the dogs is, the zombies and lickers aren't too fast. As you can see up here, their movement speed is one. They only move one tail per turn, so they're quite slow. The dogs move twice. Two tiles, sorry. So they're going to be quite fast. So what we do is, on our turn, I think we're going to best do an attack on the dogs because we literally can't get past them. So we're going to move one. We're going to attack one dog. Now, how attacking works? When you shoot an enemy, if any of on the same tile, are fine. Anything else? They move towards you. So if you fire a gunshot, this door is open, the liquor will move a space. Much like in the game, they hear the, the gunfire, they're drawn to it too. So deciding whether to fight or run is a uh, key to winning this game. 
Now we're going to first off, we're going to shoot the zombie dog. If we had a weapon like a grenade launcher, we could hit them both, but we don't, we have the handgun, so we're going to use that. So if you look at the handgun, see the stats, ammunition 15. Um, the first, um, so we're going from the left, LOS stands for line of sight, so if you can see the enemy in line of sight, you've got a range. You can see here the knife has a range of one, so only one tile. That's how many dice you roll, so you're going to roll one blue dice for attack. Now these symbols here, the one hit and the two hit, correspond to the, the dice. So if I get one hit, I get a symbol here, which is a push symbol, which means I push the enemy in any way I like. And if I get two, I do one damage. So if I just rolled one, or if I roll two, and I've got just that symbol, I only get that effect, the push effect. So the handgun is pretty weak, but it does have this rapid fire option. So you can spend more bullets to use more shots. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go a bit gung ho so we can hopefully get something with it. I'm going to use three shots, you can use it to three because we've got three dice. And I'm going to roll the attack. And as you can see here, I've got one hit icon, which means the enemy is pushed. Push it this way. That's one hit. I'll show you how the attack works. Now I can either shoot it again, waste bullets. I can try and push it, but it's giving me my space, or I can move past it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot it again, use two shots, hopefully get a hit. Nope, didn't get a hit. So we're going to push it this way. Not a bad start here already. So what we're going to do now is move, we just our second action. We're going to move three, and we're going to move four. Now onto the encounter phase. I'm going to show you how this works. So encounter phase, all enemies move one space close towards me. They can move diagonally, but because there's a wall there, as you can see, I can't move past, so I'll just go there. Enemies are on the same space as me, so it proceeds to an attack. Now if you look at the place up here, the damage it does down here is one and the range is zero. So it has to be in the same space to do damage. For instance, if it was a more ranged attack, it could stand behind me and hit me. So, to pass an evade roll, we're going to roll two dice and aim for an evade symbol. <laughs> wow, we're off to a really bad start. So, we're aiming for one of the evade symbols. Now, you see there's, a, there's three. There's like a quarter turn, like almost a full turn, then a complete turn. Sorry, the quarter turn, the semi turn, and the full turn. What you respond to is um, how many enemies there are in your space. So for one enemy, this or more would suffice in a dodge. If there's two enemies or a larger tile, we want the has it gone now? This one. If there are four enemies or one of the massive tiles, we want the full dodge symbol. Okay, so I didn't dodge. I take one damage, we let down to the next one. And when you take a hit or you evade, you also push the enemy. So I'm gonna push this behind me. So it stays there. So now onto the tension phase. Please be green. Ah, green, all clear. Some of the darkness, fingernails scratching against the last plane, and then you see the sound matching your racing pulse. So we like these, these are green, these are good, these means we carry on playing. So I've got a hit marker. Two. Not to kill a dog. So one is dead. Put one back. And I'm gonna shoot again. I need to kill them dogs because they're going to chase me. Zombies are easy, dogs are quite tricky. Another hit. Great start. So that's another one down. Fortunately, I've got six shots left, so you have to be careful. I've not quite gung ho here, but zombies I can easily avoid, but dogs they are just too fast to catch up to you. So that's two points used. So we're going to use the third one to open the door. We're going to quickly check the bear book. We're in the green. And we're going to move into the area. Now unfortunately, if you look at the Licker's ability, Scuttler, a Licker makes move reaction every time a character on the same or linked tile become, become, so performs a move action. So, I don't confuse you because I thought tile meant the same space, but tile means basically a piece, so as in this tile, and these six squares are a tile. So because the move there, it moves as well. Now when dogs are behind me, so my goes over, they move. So on the uh, Encounter phase, so if the dogs are there, they move, but they're not, I've killed them. The liquor moves one space because that's how fast it moves. 
and that's over because there's no enemies. We're gonna reveal top card of the deck, hopefully get a green, and we're green, we're all clear, we're safe. So next, we're gonna try and evade the liquor. So we're gonna move here, and of course we've moved, the liquor moves as well. So now we've got a problem, we're on the same face as the enemy. Now, I can have a, can have a fight, and have push it back. I've watched the liquor, you can see here, has three hit points, which is a bit much for my six bullets. So I'm gonna make a dodge action. So I get two dice, roll for dodge, more than enough. See here, the uh, liquor counts as two enemies because it's a larger tile base. See here, it's not uh, just one simple. So we're gonna push that back behind us. So that's one movement. So two for the vase, sorry. So we've got three, we've got uh, two points left. So we're gonna move one, two. Unfortunately, the liquor chased us. This kind of sucks. Uh, now we're in the counter phase. Let's go and attack because it has a range of one. So we roll a dice. More than enough to dodge. Don't worry about it. If you get a hit symbol, it's fine. As long as you get at least one of the uh, dodge symbols, we've dodged the liquor. We're going to push it back. It's always best to evade if you can. Unfortunately, the room next to us is locked, so we're going to go straight up and head towards the area. Oh, we forgot to do a tension card. That's close. Oh, we're all clear. That's good. Um, in the physical scenarios, the detection deck is fine, you run out of cards, you refresh, but in later games, when this runs out, the game's over. You refresh this by finding ink writers, sorry, typewriters with ink ribbons, <laughs> ink writers, typewriters with ink ribbons to refresh the detection deck, so keep an eye out for them in later games. Okay, moving over to here, we're going to move. One, two, three. One, two, three, the liquor follows us. And we're going to use the last one to open this door. Four. Now, we don't do the uh, encounter table area until we actually hit that first tile, so we're okay for now. Counter phase, the moves, unfortunately, it's right behind us again. As you can see here, it's best to just dodge. Oh, we took a hit. Look, it does one damage, so it's not too bad. Move it down by one. I push the liquor back. There we go. Okay, now the tension phase. All clear again, so we're safe. I could be okay in the shotgun because the liquor is going to be chasing me relentlessly. So we're going to move into the next area. One point. The liquor moves as well. One. Now we're in a new area, we'll check the table. And we are in a yellow area, so we roll the dice again. Now if you get a symbol, <laughs> this means you basically go to the next table, which is a harder level. You see here we're onto the amber level now. So we roll the dice again. We got a two. And a two is two zombies, the closest I have a symbol. So we take two zombies, the closest symbol is right in front of us. <laughs> wow, this is hard. This is hard already. This is tough. So we're gonna go move again, two, like a moves, one. Now two zombies here. So we're gonna need the dodge symbol to dodge past them. Plenty. That's the full dodge symbol. More than enough. Push them both back. It's like push one back. If they say it's on me and the liquor, the evade roll uses on the character that well, belongs to the highest threat level. The threat level is the first left number on the card. See, liquor's three, it's higher than zombies, and the zombie dog as well. So if that was in the same space as zombies, that attack us first. So we've gone one, uh, two, three for the dodge, and we're going to run to there. Unfortunately, the liquor follows. We need to run faster away from these zombies. Now, counter phase, liquor moves one, zombies move. Zombies have a move, uh, attack space of zero, so they're okay, but liquor still attacks us, so we're going to dodge again. We didn't get enough dodge, so we're taking another hit, which is bad. So we push that back, one space behind us, we get a bit of a, a clearing to run. Onto the uh, tension phase, all clear. Good. Right, so now we're into this room here. As you can see here, this is where it comes into play. I can run into this room here. I might spawn a zombie. I might get trapped in the zombie and the liquor. But the items, I could get a shotgun. The shotgun's an item that B, so it's probably not best to go for that. I can go upstairs. 
Hmm. I need a spade key. So yeah, we're going to have to do that. So, on. That follows two, three, four. Who's there? So that's movement turn over. We come to phase. They move. They move one. So we're okay. We've got a bit of a space here, but we're going to get trapped in this room. So it's going to be quite hairy now. Tension deck, and we're all clear. So we're going to spend one poop point to open the door. A bit over. Move into the room. Two. Like it moves. Now look at the table. Oh joy. <laughs> it's the amber tile. Let's see where I go. I think a six. Is nothing, so we're trying to get six. Oh, well, three against three. Don't be bad. Two, uh, two zombies. Oh, great. Two zombies. The zombies spawn on the nearest passive symbol, which is this one. As you can see here. No real problem. I can either go there straight away or get tracks. You know what? I'm going to run down here and get the item. So that's live one, two, Three, four. If you lose twice, because I moved. Zombies all moving counter phase. Two, two, and there. Liquid attacks again. I really like shot going from badly. And we got a dodge. Push the liquor back. There we go. Got a bit of space now. Tension phase. All clear. Okay, so let's go for the item. So we're gonna, first off, I need to heal myself. I'm gonna spend one point to use a first aid. That way. Nice. Squad the item, heals one, two, three, go back up to five. So that's one point. Two. Look at moves. Three to pick up the item. So we take the item off the board. New tiles all moved. Put that back in there. Item deck gate, let's see what we get. We've got handgun bullets. So, I think we have to fight back and maybe kill this liquor because it is driving me insane. So, we'll do that. We've got six shots left in the handgun. Okay, some traps here, so I fight way out. I'm going to spend three shots and they're all three dice. The red dice are for the power weapons at like the Magnum and the Grey Launcher, I think. Oh, I didn't get a. Uh, didn't get a hit, but not too back at least. Pushed it over there. Now, unfortunately, I found a shot, so other enemies all moved towards me as if it was an encounter phase. And that's one more action I can use. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Uh, zombies, I can evade them easily. I am going to do nothing, I'm going to wait. So, if we moves. Move one, out of range, that one's one, out of range, and there, find there. Tension deck, all clear again, we're good. Right, we've got a, a lot of distance up here, we've got a lot of enemies, so what we're going to do is, zombies are going to, I'm going to have to fight the licker, zombies are going to go into my space, but I can dodge them, so we find all the handgun bullets to do three shots on the licker. One hit. We actually hurt it. Can't believe it actually hit the liquor. Get a hit icon. There we go. And I'm going to put this next to its card there so I know what damage is done. I've hit it so it pushes back. Zombies move. Close towards. No, now it's in my space. Now, because I've got cool under fire, I can use an item. Like in the vein roll. So I'm going to use my handgun bullets. And I refresh. My handgun dial back up to 15, as you can see there. 15. Now, as in my space, I want to move. So, I did, I've done one, I've done two actions, I've fired and reloaded. So, that's two actions. I'm going to dodge these zombies, doing an evade. Wasn't enough, because I needed. Normally, if there's one zombie, that would have been enough, because there's two, I need more, so I'm going to take a hit. I'm not going to push them anywhere, because I'm only going to push them forward, so that's not what I want. So, I'm going to move, three, uh, liquor moves, and now we're going to use our last action to shoot liquor. Spend three, come on, give some hits, give some hits, oh, no hits, oh, that sucks. Okay, 
they move, and they move. Cancer phase, now I've got a problem. I've got enemies all in my space. Ooh, the wall's moved. Oops. Right, I'm gonna have to dodge this. This is gonna hurt. Oh, I didn't get enough dodge. So I took damage. One damage. I'm gonna push the zombies back. You see, multiple enemies on there, you take the damage off the highest threat level, so a liquid of one damage isn't too bad. Okay, and then I'm gonna lick it. I could push it, but there's no point. That's that phase over. We're going to dungeon card, it's clear. Back up to moving again. We are going to. Hmm. Lick is a problem. Let's run past it. So we're going to go one. We need evade. Into babe so we can hit. Down. Push the liquor back behind us. As you can see there, push it behind. I'm going to move again. That's two. Six of zombies. So I'm going to have to evade again. Yes, I evaded. I'm going to push them behind me. Three and four. We've got the item. Let's see what we get. And okay. Green here. Handy. We're going to use our last turn, well, last move to heal ourselves. We're going to use the first aid kit. Off to a bad start here. Lick is a, a tough enemy to start off with. So we heal ourselves back up to full. Encounter phase. Enemies move. They all move. So hopefully I can pass the liquor and evade now. Uh, tension phase, all clear, we're good. So, back onto the main. We're going to move forward, one, like it moves. We're going to dodge again, roll two dice. Two good hits again, this is bad. But we might push them away, so we get a bit of a, a bit of space. Push them, oh, Leon fell over a bit. Sorry, Leon, push that away. So that's. One, two, it moves. That's three and four. Look up here, we're in a green area, so we are safe. Okay, encounter phase, enemies move. Ooh, we're getting quite trapped in here. Now, I'll go for that item, or if we can run to the second floor. I've got a bit more space, I might make a run for it. That's the best option I've got. Now, Lick is going to attack me, so I've got to dodge again. Oh, God, this is unlucky. Take a hit. Pushing back. Encounter, oh, sorry, encounter. Tension phase. Oh, no. Tis no knees. Shadows spill from each corner, stretching over the floor and deigning each in the flickering light. This is no safe place. Place for City's token on the tile. Next time a character is placed on this tile for another tile, another token, and roll on a yellow encounter table. So, what this means is we're taking a persisting unease token. Um, I'll just use the. Uh, where's it gone? There we are. Place it down on the tile. What this means is when I come back into this room now, I have to roll the dice again and make an encounter. So, that stays there for now. Okay, so. On to our turn, so we're going to make a run to the second floor. So we're going to move one, like it moves. We're now up here. Two. Move the liquor, don't forget the liquor. Now we're in here, so we're going to have to check the date table. And we are top second floor. Oh, it's amber. Oh no, here we go. What's it going to be? Two. Bad, don't be bad, don't be bad, don't be bad. Oh, two zombies again. Run out of zombies. It's definitely a bad start. Because there's not that many left in the box. Luckily, when we're out of zombies, there's no more. You don't score anymore until they die and you get more space. So, it's two, and then we go three and four. That's there. there. Counter phase, so don't forget the following on the floors. So, they're going to move to there, they're going to move to there. There, lick and moves. Zombies move on my space. Let's take an attack. Come on, 
Yes, I've got the extra symbol. Push another way. Safe for now. Attention card. Oh, no. Movements and sound haunt your footsteps, spurring darkness, hiding what horror may lurk within. Very second result, took a knock by the next character activates. Well, because there's one player, we don't need to do this. You basically put a token down to the next character. When it's their turn, at the end they draw an additional two tension cards. So, I'm going to shorten it down. Basically, end this turn, instead of drawing one tension card, we're going to draw three in total. One or two additional, two, two additional cards. It's quite bad. Quite bad luck so far than this. It's quite tough for the first mission. Okay, we're going to have a turn. Come on, item. Let's see what we get. Item deck A, come on. More bullets. I suppose it's handy. I am going to hmm, run or shoot the liquor. Because the liquor's really <laughs> aggravating me. You know what? I'm going to shoot. Let's go nuts. Three shots again. You don't have to use three shots, you use one shot if you want to, but I just prefer the, the odds of having three dice. Didn't get a hit, but pushed it back for space because we fired. These move, all enemies move. So, like I say, firing a weapon can be quite deadly in this game. Here's another space, we're gonna have to dodge them. Two hits, took another hit, push them back. This is going bad so far. Gonna use a green herb. As you can see there, it says there. Uh, one level, just one. That's all I need though, to keep me going for a bit. Put that back onto caution. Oh, the look is annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna run. That's one movement we've done. Two, open the door. Three, and four. Check the uh, oh, a yellow one. Oh no, no. Three. What's three? Don't be bad. One zombie. Oh, I haven't got any zombies. Yay. Nothing. I'm safe for a bit. Okay, and then lastly, move. So that's the last one wanted. So, F and moves. The lick is on me now. Great. See, the problem is I need the stars key. Now, the stars key is item deck B. Now, item deck B is back downstairs in the first room. So it's got to be one of these three uh, tokens. We need the spade key to get in there. So the spade key is going to be one of these item A tile side tokens. Right. First of all, let's do the Lickers attack. We've got a full dodge. Push it back. So we're we'll safe for a sec. Tension deck. Don't get any draw three of these. One. Two, three, we're safe. Okay, I might um, attempt to shoot the liquor again. So, I'm going to. Because liquor's on the same tile as zombies, I'm going to shoot it now because that way they don't move because they're on the same tile. So, I'm going to shoot it with three shots again. And that's three. Three bullets. Then you get a hit. Push it back. They move because I'm different tile. So I've got a bit of space now, I can, I can afford to run a bit. Now, this is the start office, which is locked up, so we don't need to go in there yet. So I'm going to run down here, but I've got a massive army of armored zombies chasing me, as you can see there. <laughs> and I've got zombies down here waiting for me. Great! So that's one point, two, three, four. So two, three, four. God, this liquor is just relentless. God, I've got to kill this liquor. So, if it moves, or moves, or moves, or moves, look at that again. So, get hit. Oh, it's liquor. I'm gonna have to kill it. I've got to kill this liquor. It's driving me insane. Okay, so, I'm gonna shoot the liquor. Straight up. Let's, let's kill this liquor. It needs to die. Come on, come on, yeah, kill it. Oh, no. Not a single hit. I'm gonna push it back. And they all move. And they move, and they move. Oh, it's like a shotgun. I need to do again the shotgun, really. But the shotgun's not in dead B, so oh, it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna shoot it again. With three shots. Come on. Yes, we've got a hit. We've got a hit. Place another hit token on there. 
What's that? So fired. Moves again. Maximum four per space, that's fine as it is. So I've done two movements. I'm gonna use two points, sorry, and this last one to reload. And I'm gonna fire again. The zombies I don't mind lick it, I can't outrun the licker. I'm gonna have to refresh my ammo, we have to three again. Come on, one hit, I'm gonna kill this. Yes! Yes! Licker's dead, finally. Some breathing room. Get back in that box. Get back in there, stay there. Okay. Yeah, we fired, so they move, F and moves closer. There. Three, four. I don't mind zombies, you can, you can obey the zombies, not too bad. So, that's my phase over. The cast phase, F and moves, moves towards me, like so. Tension phase, green is good, and we're going to move again. So, we're going to go one, two for the door. Three, shut the thing. Oh, we're on green, we're good. And there's an item up there. You can risk that or go over there out the way. So, I might risk it and lure zombies out the way to get past them. I'll sort of run around them. So that's one, two, three, four. Move there. FM moves now, counter phase. They move down, they move down, they move down. And because I'm in the, uh, the doors open, they're going to move as well. Tension phase. All clear, we are good. So, one point open the door, two, check there. And, oh, it's yellow. You know what? Just summon zombies because I can't put them down. Oh no, it's the red. Yes, the amber one. No. Oh, what's that symbol mean? What's that symbol mean? No! Oh, dogs. Oh, bad start. Bad start. Dogs. Pain. Okay, what are we going to do? Dogs move too fast, the problem is... Uh, okay, we're going to move. Three, four. Counts phase. Enemies will move. F moves. Bit messy now. Dogs move one, and two. Dogs on my space. Then we're going to attack. Can't dodge these. Yes, can't dodge. Push them back. Okay. Tension that phase. All clear. Now we're gonna pick up this item. Come on. Come on, we got, we got. Oh we've got spaky, we've got spaky. We can go back down there as net B. But to get that we have to run a long, long way past the horde of zombies. We're gonna run past all these. The dogs on our tail as well. So that's bad. I'm trying to shoot the dogs. I think I'll shoot the dogs. Because can, they chase me too fast. So we're going to use three shots on the dog. Yes! One down. But there you go. Enemies move because I've made a shot, unfortunately. I kind of had to. Now I'm going to use a knife. Just one dice. Because I don't want any chasing me. I'm just going to use a knife. Come on. If this is a hit, I'll be happy. Oh, it's not a hit. Okay, that's not over. Encounter phase. Uh, enemies move. Dog on my tail. It's now come closer. They come closer. They come closer. Dog attacks. Oh, Took a hit from the dog. Damn. We're in real danger now. I'm going to need a miracle to get past that thing now. Okay, so. Tension phase. All clear. So we're gonna run. One, touch the zombies. Two, three, and four. We're gonna get that item. Hopefully, it's a herb or something. Uh, Counter phase, dog moves two. Maybe one space. Zombies coming quite close. This game's quite tricky. Nothing's there. Session deck phase, all clear. Out we go. So we're gonna go for the item and run past them all. I need to pass a big evade roll to get past all these. Oh, this is tough. Uh, I'm gonna have to risk it. Let's risk it. One. Evade roll, come on. Yes! Got the full symbol. Push them all the way. Get gone, get gone, get gone. 
Şimdi bu motorcu gel. Come on. Yes. Tarsın bula gel. Bu tarsın gel. Yes. Full dodge. Woo. Was lucky. Okay. Now onto the panzer phase. So they move. So I've got to dodge these again. They're all back. They move, that moves two spaces. Okay, so if I pass this dodge roll, I might be safe. Come on. Yes, dodged again. Push them back. Whew. Oh, I'm on danger. Make a run. So, one, two, three, four. Might go over. No left common cell anymore, so we're safe for a bit. They'll move. They'll move. And keep. That moves two, but if I keep moving, the dog won't catch up to me. So, attention that phase. Oh my god. A dark silhouette is the only warning for Lash Hatters to Jackie Shaws and Death Resumes a Tyler's Pursuit. Spawn two zombies in the same Tyler acting character and the closest. Oh, I've got no zombies because they're all on the board. So, I'm safe. See ya. Now I go. One, two, three, four. Back onto the first floor. Uh, encounter phase. Move all these horde of enemies, they're all coming, chasing me. <laughs> Attention to God, oh my god. Let's go to. Basically, um, start my next go, I've got to pass an evade roll, otherwise my, end, my go ends immediately. So, pass an evade roll, otherwise my go ends. Yes, we can keep going. Uh, I might go straight down to get out of net B and hopefully get the stars key. With a shotgun, so let's go for that. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Count phase, they all move. Don't move two, but some catch up to me quite fast. Hashing deck, ah, oh, no escape, what's this one? Behind you hear the crack of a door opening and closing again, from by a sound of shambling footsteps. This basically moves all the the enemy characters as if it was the encounter phase, so but only about one space, which is quite annoying. So it's that. Problem is, I need to get back up here to get into that solid office, so it's going to get quite tricky. Okay, so my go. Going to get this item. Got that. Okay. Bullets. Okie dokie. I'm going to now get inside there. I put it cornered. I don't want to do that. I can risk going down there, I think. It's a safer bet. So, one, two, Three, four. Pants phase. He's gonna chase me. <laughs> there, 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 there. Attention that phase. Clear. We have got. So make a run for it. One, two, three, four. One, two. I really need a herb, a piece of spray, anything. Attention deck. All clear. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Down there. Uh, they'll move to two, 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 there. Action deck, safe. We're gonna spend one point to open the door. Inside, what have we got? Don't be bad, don't be bad. Oh, it's yellow. Oh, come on. Four is snatching talons. That's kind of passing the variable, or the phase ends immediately. Okay. Oh, it goes over. Oh, it sucks. Right, encounter phase, dog comes closer, zombies all come, I might try to shut the dog, get rid of the dog, if I can. Clear, so we're inside here now. One, two, three, item deck B, which is the right there, Let's see what we get. Oh, we've got a shotgun. That's good. Let's get my dial ready. Here's what I made earlier. Shotgun dial, let me have seven shots of this. Yeah, seven shots. See, the shotgun's good because uh, it's stronger. We roll two dice for each shot, and every symbol's a hit, which is what we want. So that's. Uh, there we go, over. Air fast moves. That's getting closer. Zombies are getting closer too. It's all looking dark. 
Shotguns around the Savior. Protection deck. All clear. My go. So we're going to go one, two, three. Get the item. Stars key. Yes. That's what we need. So to win this, we've got to go back where we came. Past the annoying dog. Upstairs. And past all the zombies. So we get this room. I think. Is there any. Yeah. If we go in there and do enemies, we've won. So that was three, uh, four. If it moves, if it moves. I think I have to use that shotgun. I have to do a lot of fighting now to get out of this uh, situation. Okay, touch the deck. All clear. We are good. Okay, so I'll go. One, two, three. Now I'm going to shoot that dog because I want it dead. So we're going to take one down. Roll two dice. Yes, dead. Bit of breathing space now. But unfortunately, it's, it's all moved because I fired a, a very loud shotgun. It's not exactly quiet. Everything moves. Tension deck, green, we are good. So let's make a run for it. One, two, three, four. Zombies all chase. We got to do a lot of fighting. Here they all come. There we go. Petition deck. Green. Whew. Right. This is hard. I promise I'm in danger. We've got a shotgun. I'm safe with the shotgun. So let's do some fighting because I can't really avoid some move one. Let's shoot the shotgun. Yep. That's one down. They all move. They all move. They all move. They all move. Let's fire it again. Yep. Move one down. They move to there. They move to there. They move to there. I thought I could get evade, evade them somehow. If I could get into the room and go around them, but I can't. It's just a bit too tricky. Okay, let's fire again. Let's go for it. Kill them all. The one down. They move. That can't be many four because there's a maximum of four. They move to there. And let's have our last turn. Fire it again. Why not? Oh, missed. Okay, that go over. They all move. They come in. There you go. So we've got a few of them down. So we might be okay a little bit here. Tension deck, all clear. I've got three shots left. I've got handgun bullets though, so let's use a shotgun first, so give it a shot. Yes! Another one down. Uh, they move, as you can see, let's do another shot. Yes, another one down. Now obviously in an upcoming scenario, I won't be doing this, I've had a boss to fight or lick it on the corner or because I know I'm near the end, I've got to do everything I can to get to my objective. So we use our last shot now. Yes, another hit. Woo! And then they move. That's our turn over. So that moves. They move. So we're getting there. We'll just get past these zombies. We'll just kill the zombies. I'll be okay. Come on, I'm bad, I'm bad. Oh, I forgot for that. Okay. My last shot. I'll use my handgun. Use three shots. Yes, we killed it. We're safe. Well, for now. So, two, three. They move because I fired. Oh dear. Okay. Tension deck. Oh no, what's this one? Move enemies close to the time. Yeah, that's, that's the movement one. So, they all move. Mm, this is bad because I've got basically past an evade roll now. So, that's very bad. So if I last pass the evade roll, I'll be safe. Oh my go. No. No, I didn't get enough. Oh, I'm dead. No, I didn't get to it. Now, if you are playing two player and you have a first aid spray, you can revive a character. Continue on. Now, unfortunately, if I would have passed that, we've got to the stars room, would have been safe. Touch and deck, finish me off, unfortunately. And the dogs and the liquor were just too much for me. I also forgot I should have rolled the encounter dice when I went up there, but never mind. Now, you can play this on a uh, campaign mode. 
Um, you get, at the end of your turn, you get rookie items. Or bullets or healing items. You can use them before the thing's over, so if you have like say bullets you can put them in before the campaign mission's finished. You reset your health and you carry on. You can play standalone missions if you want to. It does tell you there the starting cards for your character. Uh, so off to a bad start for the uh, Resident Evil 2 campaign. But uh, if you have any questions about this game and want to see some more content and want to see me carry on playing or what you can do in expansion packs. Feel free to leave a comment and let me know and thanks for watching.